<laughs> Legends and Lotte. Um, jeez, the light is coming from all over the place. I really dislike this cover, so, um, I'm glad I didn't buy it. I really dislike this cover. <laughs> Mostly because uh, the cover, so do I have, um, so this cover makes me think it's some kind of, you know, uh, ogre romance, too, too romancy um, kind of thing, as in sex. Um, it makes me think it's that kind of book, and it's really not. <laughs> It's really not. Um, so I'm glad there's a, like a different cover because I do think at one point I'm gonna get this book because, just because. So, um, Legends and Lattes, Viv, the, um, the ogre thingy, um, she has been, why is that, a mercenary or something? Anyway, she's hanging up her sword. She's found this new drink, coffee. Uh, which is just it's it's now her live passion and she's gonna open up a coffee shop uh, but first she must build this coffee shop this glare honestly it's doing my head in she must build this coffee hop shop so she finds a carpenter of sorts uh shows these like drawings of what she's thinking and this I, I'm assuming he's like a master carpenter because he goes to town. He builds the place of her dreams and puts in a kitchen. And he's like, you know what, just in case, in case, you know, people don't understand the coffee drink because they, they really don't understand the coffee drink. Um, eventually, she, the, that is, she gets... Uh, another girly, who I forget what her name was. Anyway, she gets another girly in to, you know, serve the coffee and stuff. And then eventually after that, she gets a little, um, I want to say it's a little boy in the kitchen. Um, who's, who's just apparently a genius at what he does. So seemingly this little man, he's seemingly inventing chocolate croissants i don't know what else he's he's inventing baked goods basically uh yeah and it just kind of seems like a hit eventually they keep on adding um see if i can find a menu i can't find the menu here yeah so they kept um you can't really tell but they kept adding on things to the menu yeah, that was a, a bit of an annoying bit that every time, because it was quite often, it's not a chunky book per se, it was quite often and they like, well I'm reading the same thing over again and then there's this new little thing down. I didn't, I didn't feel like I needed that menu popping up so many times, but it did. Um, it's fine, it's fine, it's a minor thing. So, Legends and Lattes. <laughs> Here's the thing about this book. It's not really about anything. Not really. I mean, yeah, sure. It's it's about something. I mean, Viv hangs up her sword, she starts this coffee shop, yada yada yada. But that's basically it. N nothing really big happens. It's not it's it's not like this massive thing it's just like let's hang out for a week or two it's more like that and just reading someone's diary or something um <laughs> but funnily enough i really enjoyed it it was just it was that little it was like reading a ya or middle grade pa palate cleanser kind of a deal only this was um, not <laughs> it was i guess that's where the cozy fantasy comes in. So it's just that. It's it's not a big thing. It's just a little hello. Let's have a chat. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um, it was adorable. 
it's just, there's not much there's not a lot to say about it honestly because it's one of those it's not really about anything but it was still a good time how does that work i don't know it just seems to do um, but yeah, I don't like this cover, so in the future, when I'm getting it, I'm getting this other one, which just makes more sense to me. Yeah, it's nothing intently wrong with it, but yeah, it does make me think there's like ogre porn or something. Back with the Legends and Lattes thingy, but uh, bookshops and Bone Dust is a prequel, I guess, but it's book two, so I read it second, but it's a prequel. This is all before the coffees and stuff. She hasn't really gotten what coffee is yet. She is introduced slightly to it, but not the addiction hasn't started yet. So in this one, Viv is doing her, was it mercenary thingies? Anyway, she is doing that, but she is hurt in the process of something or other so she ends up staying in this little town not the town that we meet her in um, legends lattes but a different town because she she needs healing and stuff and rest and relaxation so she ends up <laughs> reading books and whatnot and then she ends up fixing up the bookshop and whatnot here's the thing though for someone who's hurt and needs to rest and you know needs some TLC she's up on her legs a lot doing lots of things maybe she shouldn't be doing like not resting would be one she does very little resting for someone who should be resting but okay um so much like Legends of Lattes uh this book isn't really about anything <laughs> It, it has that cozy feel. I like it because we're in a bookshop and there's lots of like bookshops and uh, bookshop and books talk. So that's, that's just my jam. Yeah, but it's not really about anything. But yeah, cozy mystery fantasy. It's not really a mystery. What, what am I saying? Cozy fantasy. Um, I do think I prefer Legends and Lattes for some reason. Maybe because it kind of just gave more. Even though uh, a lot of the things that... Well, we have all the chocolates and croissants and all that invention going on. Um, which, which is just like taking credit for something that's already there, but you know, not in that world, but fine. So I think I like that one more, even though it made less, it was less realistic. <laughs> and I may prefer the bookshop setting more than the coffee shop. I don't know, it's a toss between the, between the books. I don't, mm, yeah, no, I think I like the first one more, but this is the kind of cover I like for it. I think it has the it has the ogre picture as well. I'll see if I can find it. Um, a book about nothing that's just cozy. Still kind of cute. I liked it. 